Hi, I'm Lynn Litzinger Miller, and I'm president of the Brown County Art Gallery Foundation. And I want to talk to you about what I did for art and what art did for me. Like most of you, I took art in school and I enjoyed it. It was one of my favorite topics, but it became apparent as I went on that my talents really were more in the realm of being a writer. And so when I went to Indiana University to follow that pursuit, I wandered around the Union as an observer and a journalist, but I noticed the beautiful paintings that were on the walls. There was no real explanation as to where they came from, but for four years, they always caught my eye. When I began my career in Fort Wayne, um, I kind of reconnected with the artists in that community. I discovered the Fort Wayne Art School and that they had annual exhibits and sales and they gave lessons. I took them and it only underlined my choice to become a journalist was the right one. The ability to make the ordinary look beautiful is really, really a gift. Years later, I found myself in Brown County. 40 years ago, at least almost 40 years ago, I moved here. And I learned about the early art colony and connected the dots between the artists and those beautiful paintings that I used to enjoy at IU. And I realized that these artists who came from all over, so well-trained and bringing tremendous education and talent, made Brown County look spectacular. I eventually became a volunteer at the art gallery and now here, 15 years later, I'm on the board. That's what I did for art. But what did art do for me? When I walk in the doors of the gallery and I ramble through the Art Association and the Indiana Heritage Arts Galleries, I see beautiful work by artists following in the legacy of that early colony. And it's so important that the gallery provides this space for them to exhibit and sell their work and to be available for people who just want to come through and take a journey through Indiana because it's right there on the walls. Of course, my love of history brings me to the permanent collection areas. Right now we're sitting in the Gustav Bauman Gallery. This may be my favorite place. He not only was a tremendous craftsman and a wonderful painter, but he was a great writer. One of the projects I got to undertake this year was to recreate all the wall tags, describing every print in here, every image, and using his own words. He was an interesting, clever man. I would have really liked to have gotten to know him. When I walk into the permanent collection gallery, I come face to face with all those paintings created by all those artists who founded this colony almost 100 years ago. All of you know that I've written about them, talked about them, lectured about them, and really have grown to love them. The paintings are really like friends to me when I see them. That's what I got from art. And I see that for visitors when they come in, they feel that same connection. The COVID pandemic has created fear, illness, death, and financial ruin in our community. The Brown County Art Gallery, like any other nonprofit, has lost all of its revenue from exhibits, our donations are down, and it's been difficult. The board has promised to maintain the salaries of our staff to preserve the collections that we have and to come out on the other side of this pandemic even stronger. But we need your help. I'm going to ask you to do something for art. I'm asking you to become a monthly sponsor for the gallery. We are making it easy for you. You can donate online. You can donate $25 a month, $50 a month, $75 a month or $100 a month. And we will be giving you a gift in return to thank you for what you did for art. Go to the drop box on the link on this page and it will give you the instructions of what to do. What I did for art, what our art has done for me can be summed up in one little story that I'll share with you. One day a man came into the gallery, an older man, 
and it was before we had added on. And he commented to the gallery manager that it was a beautiful day, and he decided to come over, and he'd been here many times, and he would just make his way around the gallery. A few minutes later, the gallery manager thought she hadn't seen him in a while, and so she went looking for him. And there she found him, sound asleep on a couch in one of the small rooms. He looked so peaceful that she didn't disturb him. She just left him. A bit later, she walked back into the room and he woke up embarrassed. And he told her he hadn't slept in several weeks. He told her that his wife had died and that they had always come here when they were young and they always stopped at the Brown County Art Gallery. He said they couldn't afford the art but they just enjoyed being here. And so he came on this day looking to be close to her once again. And he was. That's what art does for me. Please become a monthly sponsor. Tell all your friends and all other art lovers that you know. Tell them what you did for art.